One of the things that you want to pay attention to are your SFI expiration dates on your safety equipment. If you're going to keep safety equipment in your car, you might as well keep it valid so you don't have any trouble when you go to the track. So you can see my window net has expired uh, over the summer this year. So blew the car up in May and then it's been down all summer while I've been putting it back together. So it is uh, up and running now and I'm getting ready for a track visit. So I'm checking all my dates, make sure that uh, the car is ready to go and you can see the window net is expired. So I have ordered another one and I'm gonna replace it in this video. The window net that I run is an All-Star Performance part number 10289, uh, SFI 27.1, which is the requirement for the speed that I'm running for 850. The roll cage that I run is a Fat House Fab 10.850 Cert cage. I do run an all-star performance window net slash jigs setup that was fabricated by Tony Bickford. Uh, Bickford Fabrication in the St. Paul area here in the Twin Cities. Uh, so to take the window net out, it's spring-loaded here at the top. So this lever would normally be facing in for me to grab when I'm in the uh, driver's seat. But uh, you just push it back. It'll plunge her out of the back here. This is a spring-loaded portion back here that allows the window net to fall. And then down here at the bottom, there's just a pin. You pull the pin, and you can slide the bottom bar back. And then the window nets will come out. So there's the existing window net. Uh, the new one I do have here in my hand. I'll just show the the new date to so this one doesn't expire until December 2023. It's going to give me a few years uh, runtime out of this. This window net's about $22, um, and it's the exact same uh, size and parts. They haven't changed anything uh, since the last couple of years since I bought the first one. Uh, so the bottom's going to be pretty simple. Bar's just going to slide out. slide into the wind, uh, new window net. I do want to make sure that I have the uh, pin side down um, that I've set up there. So the top of things is going to little, be a little bit more difficult uh, where I've got to fish out um, the mechanism. I got the top bar out off camera. It took a lot more effort than I was hoping for, uh, but that's part of it when the fabricator makes it so tight and so specific for a, a specific net. Uh, it's hard to get it on and off. So I was able to fish it off there. I'm going to fish this one on. Got the uh, top rod in. I can tell you that was a bit of a workout. It took me a little bit longer than I was hoping for, but it's just nice, slow. Uh, continue to work it through since it's very tight. That's what she said. Putting it back in, I'll start with the bottom. But uh, first I'll show my new expiration date good for a few years. So I'm going to slide it through the bottom portion first, which will allow me to bring the top of it back up into the slot at the top. And then I'll just work it around until I can find that hole for the pin to go in. Now to test fit the top, take the plunger side, that's it. New net, back to legal. To drop the net and store it when I'm not racing, I just drop it, it wraps around the bar it tucks up into the roll cage, just kind of keeps it uh, secure and out of the way, and that's it. Give me enough space to jump in and out.